that wraps up that portion. Hopefully you guys have a better understanding on why we homeschool. Now, there's another question that people want me to answer for some oddball reason. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I don't want to answer it. But I will give my personal opinion on it. It's just an opinion. Why do we want to be poly? Okay. <laughs> I will be completely transparent here. Technically, I don't even like the idea of it. I don't. But the reason why I'm even somewhat pursuing it is to support my wife. Because, you know, as we all know, we already know, she's already discussing her channel. She's already come out on what orientation she is. And we have discussed that a lot. And I'm going to tell you, it wasn't easy for me to bear at first. It really wasn't. I had a, I had a delayed reaction. Yeah, I told you about that. I made a video about that. Two videos about that. She, for, when she came out and told me she was bisexual, I kind of laughed it off at first. And then all of a sudden it went from laughing to straight rage. <laughs> it's kind of like a, that. It's kind of like a Looney Tunes character who start who gets all angry and then they laugh like crazy and then they start crying and then they start laughing again. That's kind of how I was. I was laughing about it. <laughs> yeah, okay. And then I was like, "What the hell, are you?" <laughs> so it took me some understanding to get used to. See, again, I understand about the orientations of people, but you see, I never thought to myself that I would actually be faced with it. So it took me in for a huge loop. I honestly thought I lost my wife. I honestly did. It, 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 that left an emotional scar on me too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what? That is the other blowing our marriage. Away. Right. I mean, stress that also, on you. That, that, at the same time we were dealing with all the other stressors that I just mentioned, that also put me under a hot heavy load of stress too, because I thought I was gonna lose my family behind this. I really thought that. And I'm like, woman, <laughs> I done been through all this and now this gonna happen to <laughs> ah! believe me, I was not. I definitely He wasn't pleased. No. It wasn't I was not amused. Not the slightest. But over time. I did my own personal research. I did research about it. Read a lot of articles. I read a lot of people who went through it. We talked about it a lot. It, 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 we did get heated arguments. I'm not gonna say we did. I'm not gonna say I didn't say any hurtful things because I did. But she understood why I did. So those of you out there who are wanting to come out to your spouse being bisexual, I'm gonna tell you right now. You will face some animosity. You will face hostility. Be ready for it. Because you're talking about the love of your life that you said I do to on the altar. You are talking about this individual has to accept another portion of you that they were not ready to deal with. This is a big one. Okay? So, I understand that you're scared. I understand that it's really a big thing, but you should already be expecting this. It should not be. I mean, some. I mean, there are those stories out there where it's like the spouse was fully supportive and they was okay with it. But for a good majority of us, we're not. Right. And sometimes the ones who were so-called okay with it really weren't. Like the man would just say, "Oh, cool, yeah, I get to watch two women on top of each other," and then he he doesn't mm -hmm. really care anyway. He takes the so-called second wife and runs off with her. Right. Now, the information I'm going to reveal is how I feel as a man, and I don't, I honestly do not care how anybody else feels about it, because this is the way I feel about it, period. This I've always been. The way I see polyamory these days is basically a get out of jail free card. That's all I see it as. Because I've been monitoring that. I've been watching it very closely. And this is the way I look at it. 
if you so-called say you want to be poly and whatnot, it's for a couple of reasons. Either because you do not, you currently do not want to be with the so, your so-called loved one that you are with currently. You are trying to find a sneaky way to get out of a situation. Which, vast majority, that's all I've heard online. Period. Because I'm going to tell you, when I said I do to my wife, she's the only woman I ever look at. Now, I'm not sitting here saying I don't look at other women, too. But the first and foremost thing, I don't do it in front of my wife, for one. And two, I don't say anything. I can look at a woman and adore her from a distance, and she won't even know that I'm even looking at her. <laughs> Stop lying, man. You know you ain't like that. You don't know me. <laughs> like, you know, some men be staring. They obvious with it. Like, come on, really? I don't stare. And they stare while the wives are looking and the wife might not be. There is no way in hell I'm going to dishonor my wife like that. Now, I'm going to tell you, for the longest time, my wife tried to get me to look at other women. And I didn't realize what the hell she was doing. <laughs> but I was standing firm towards her and I said, woman, you're the only one I even want to be with. Why are you having me look at other women? Why are you doing this? Why are you having me lust for other women? I don't want to lust for other women. I want to lust for you and you alone. That was just stuff my dad put in my head. So, yeah, I was starting to kind of be like that. You know. But I let her know really <laughs> quick that I'm not that kind of man. And I don't want to be. And I knew that. It was just a period I had to get through. A huge period. Right, and I had to work through it with her. But anyway, um, but no, a lot of times when I hear people in polyamorous relationships, I do understand that some of that some of it comes become because people have been through abusive situations, so they wind up choosing that direction. Hey, I understand that completely. I'm not faulting you for it. But for people who just, but for see, for guys who just want to just jump onto it just because, oh, two women, I can, I can have, I can have screw out with two women, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. That ain't, that's not my mindset in this. Because see, through this ordeal, there's one particular thing that hardly no one ever thinks about. <laughs> I remember you say. <laughs> two things. Two major ones. Mm -hmm. One, this is another person you're involving in your life. You are being irresponsible because we're all adults come on let's be frank here we're all adults here okay you are getting ready to get yourself and your family involved in another person that close in proximity to each other that could very well change the fabrication of how your of how your family your whole household is going to function okay you can't just bring anybody into your circle that's just irresponsible in my opinion. Just because, oh, some dude want to get his nut off to another woman. <laughs> if that's all it's about, then I then I I have to respectfully, sternly, heavily decline. <laughs> that's not my reason of wanting to even pursue this. Not only because I want to support, I'm trying to do my best to support my wife here the best I can. But my thing is this, if I'm going to go ahead and get involved with another woman, my whole, my whole scope of this is, okay, how, how, basically how we're going to work this out. This, look, the same tactics I used when we first started dating, the same tactics are being used, the tactics are being used here. Okay, what are your goals? What do you want? Why do you want to do this? Ask those really hard questions. What was the number two you had? Children. Because see, the big the biggest thing that disgusts me if you want to be polyamorous is because they look at the sex. Of course, that is the benefit, but it's like, what is the okay, see, see, I've done I've even did historical research on polyamory. Okay? Now, there were some occasions where you had rich people who were able to do that. Hey, they had the money. They could have all the freaking all the freaking ladies they wanted to. Or, if you're a woman, you can have all the men you want. Didn't matter. You had the money for it. You didn't care. You were rich. But also, during wartime, when there was only so many men left over after all the men done practically slaughtered themselves, yeah, of course one man can have three women because they were trying to repopulate. So historically, the way I look at polyamory is like, well, that's really what it's for. I'm 
I'm looking at what it was actually for. Now, you all can argue with me all you want to about it, but no. I don't want to partake of something. To me, I think it's just sick, all right? It, to me, it's sick for you. Uh, people are already cheating on each other anyway. So what people are, what polyamory is doing now is legalized cheating. Now there's no harm. There's no foul now. You just, what, you, you're with a spouse? Why are you with this person? Polyamory, baby. And then all of a sudden, all the consequences go away. Because years ago, no, you couldn't claim that mess. Because your spouse, your spouse ready to cut your, cut your neck open with a knife the moment she saw you messing around with another woman. All right? So, oh, no, you going to have a heavy fight with your spouse when you got home to, that night. If you have the nerve to want to come back home that night. <laughs> but now, people just go under the guise of, I'm polyamory. And they think all the consequences and all the, all the flat goes out the door. No, it does not. No, it does not. Too many times have I, I've seen situations where people get involved in this, and it's mostly men doing it. Just, just This is what I've seen. But, yeah, of course, the man, yeah, man, let's get a woman. Yeah, 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 let's go ahead and get a woman. And the, his whole time, of, his whole goal of doing it is to get rid of the original spouse to be with somebody else. Or it just gives him open reign to go have sex with multiple different women. It just gives men an open door to want to go out and go cheat. To high hell. That's all it does. Now there's no guilt. See, beforehand, men had to hide. Men had to be very skillful at not letting a woman know they're messing around with somebody else. But now all I gotta do is claim polyamory, and they got the free one to run around and do whatever the hell you wanna do. No, sir. No, I don't agree with that. I'm saying, so, nope, don't care. Don't want to hear it. To me, men have completely dishonored themselves by even going to that practice in the first place for so dishonest as as reasons. As as goes, I'm only pursuing this only to gain another individual that we can grow with. Yes, if we do this, kids are going to come. If I'm sitting here getting involved with another young, another woman, well, kids are gonna come through that anyway. I'm already assuming that. we People wanna do polyamory, and it's like the kids are never involved in this. Like, kids are never supposed to be a factor in this. But you wanna keep having a bunch of sex. That's one thing I hate about polyamory. No one ever talks about the important things. They don't talk, the, the kids are never a factor in this, because it's like, okay, you wanna keep having sex, but you don't wanna have kids. Then why are you having sex? <laughs> Be all and whatnot. Why go out and have sex knowing the kids are going to pop up? Even if she's taking birth control, 99.9 .9 or 99%, there's still that 1%. And it's happened to too many people already. Yeah. You're not going to escape destiny, okay? You're not going to escape fate. Sorry. <laughs> if, that, if it's meant for that baby to come because you went in there, that baby come. So I'd rather just relieve myself of the stress and say, hey, look, if I'm going to get a hold of another woman, I know baby's coming. But because of that, I'm going the responsible approach, and I want to make sure this is a woman that I don't mind having kids by. Because I'm not going through no baby mama drama. I ain't never dealt with it. She's the first and only woman I've been with. Trust me, I don't even want to deal with that kind of nonsense. I hear guys talking about that mess all the time, and I'm like, you know what? I'm glad I ain't got that freaking headache. Right. I pride myself on that one. So, mm -hmm. That's stress I ain't got to deal with. I ain't got to worry about paying child support to some person. I ain't got to worry about no woman bashing my door down trying to get a hold of them. Nope, I ain't got to worry about none of that. Mm -hmm. All these crazy stories we be hearing other people go through out here, mm -mm, I ain't got to deal with that. <laughs> Everybody else want to brag about the nonsense they want to brag about? Well, guess what? I got stuff I can brag about too. Right. I brag about that too. Hmm. Only been a one man ever. Yay. <laughs> Honestly, I think that's the way it should be. But hey, call me old-fashioned. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to me, I think I'm born in the wrong time period. Because mm -hmm. I don't know what in the world people are doing today. I, that's why I'm a hermit. Personally, I'm a hermit. I'd rather not be around all that. So, <clears throat> but that is my personal outtake on polyamory. I'm trying to be as supportive as I can with her about it. But I'm approaching this from a responsible perspective. I'm not in this to be selfish. I'm not in this to take advantage of. I'm in this to just to add to. Just to make it simple.
So everybody's been blowing my wife up about it. Like, well, how does your husband feel about that? Now nah, you know. <laughs> you don't like it? Well, uh, you asked. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you asked. <laughs>